Davidson auction in West Palm Beach, Florida. Today I am going live. I never go live. I love going live. So I'm going to try to answer your questions. I'm going to show you some cars. I'm going to show you what it's like behind the scenes at the Barrett Jackson auction. Feel free to reach out, shout out in the comments, whatever you have questions about. I'll try to answer the best I can. I can tell you I already bought two cars and I actually sold a car. I'm not sure that I will or will not show you what I bought and sold yet today. That might be for a completely different video. We're going to start right off with this DeLorean. Let me switch the screen around so you don't have to stare at my face this whole video. Now, if you're watching, this is going to be jam-packed, full of information, full of cars and full of action. So stay along with us this whole time. Bentley Continental GT W12. We have an 82 DeLorean DMC 12. Good morning from Lakeland. Oh, nice. You're right up the road from me. Welcome, Lakeland. Other side of the state, but welcome to Florida. So we have a Z06, 3,000 miles, Ferrari 318 GT B over there. And then it's going to keep going. Excuse me. Sorry about that. We're going to go right down the staging lane because there are some pretty cool cars here. Then 63 people on so far. Hello, everybody. We have an SRT8 Demon. Is this a Demon? We'll find out right there. There we go. So this is a pretty rare, no, this is a Hellcat. Yeah, it is a Demon, okay, I was right. So this is a pretty rare car, like a street legal buy from the factory drag racer. Going over here, one of my favorites. These Fords are really growing on me, the late 60s Ford Broncos. Never liked them, they always rode really rough, but the full restoration on these things is really starting to grow on me. I love that people are putting the five liter Coyote engines in them, which makes them a little bit more reliable. Then they add the new upholstery to make it a little bit more comfortable. Uh, cool truck to drive around in Florida. We got here a Chevelle. This is a 71 Chevelle. I think the 70 has two headlights. 72. I was close. Blazer back there. Let's see. Anything in the comments right now? Hello from Vancouver. Hello. Good morning from Illinois. Hello from, from Leesburg. Nice. Leesburg is another Florida, right? All right. Let's go down here. So cars are already running through. That truck is actually, I looked at it earlier. I want to show you as it drives by it's kind of neat so it looks like it's completely sun faded which i think it actually is and then there's even some like patina from the rust and then they just cleared over the whole thing i i don't think it's intentional if it is intentional they did an amazing job i don't think that's paint because that roof is textured that's why i say maybe it is paint i don't know i have no clue hello from leesburg greetings hello from orlando greetings from chicago Hello from Illinois, 454 SS. Yeah, cool truck, and it sounds amazing. Now look at all these Shelby Daytonas going right down here. A GT40 right there. When I was 17, this was my seven. This was the car I had when I was 17, a 69 Firebird convertible. Not a Trans Am, but it was white with blue stripes. I restored it with my father. Going down the line. Here, I'll show you some eye candy. Is that improper to say? Sorry if that was rude. We're gonna go right down this line. We have a Ferrari California, and then a Lamborghini, and then the black Lamborghini is even cooler. Hello from Canada, hello from Saudi Arabia, hello from Danville, Kentucky. Uh, somebody just said, I'm not in Florida anymore, but I'm from Orlando originally. I live in North Carolina, Charlotte, cool area now. Uh, did you find reverse? Yeah. How do you do it? I couldn't find reverse. Oh, there's a button. All right, well now we all know, and so does everybody on YouTube. I couldn't figure out how to help the man put the car in reverse. Clearly, I'm not a Lamborghini driver. Now, what makes this car so special, I guess one of nine documented in black, but it's a six-speed gated manual transmission. Super rare to find these like that. I'm definitely interested in this car today. I think I've told you guys I've already bought two and sold one. Hello from Miami. Hello from Saudi Arabia, Canada, Danville, Kentucky. Let's see. Hello from your office. Nice. Hello from Holland. Your first live? No, I do I do lives every now and then. Uh, let me reverse the camera so we can chat. There's a couple cars I want to show you while I'm here. Uh, and I know a lot of complaints about this is vertical. Uh, YouTube makes it vertical now, so if I shoot it horizontally, the video ends up being sideways. I learned that the hard way last time I was doing a live, so sorry that it is, oh, look at this. Okay, hang on a second. I did, you're staring at my face. I did a video on this uh, at the Mecham auction. So this is a, like 2001 ish it's a 1999 shelby series one convertible i feel like this is on a cadillac platform like an xlr platform it's basically gm inside manual transmission gauges that's like everything out of like a chevy silverado from 1999 hey put it in neutral and it doesn't run apparently gnx right there and there's a hummer ev there's a couple broncos Let's read some more comments. Hello from Temecula. 
Craig from Lowell. Nice neighbor. Hello there. Any cyclone? No, I haven't seen any cyclones. Michigan is in the late, is in the house. Hello, Michigan. Do you love me? The real Jay Hall. Well, hello, Jay Hall. I want to go this way and show you something that's really cool. So bear with me as we walk through the Barrett Jackson auction. We test drove the uh, Hellcat Chargers and Challengers yesterday, which was a really good time. I had a camera crew with me. Let me turn it on so I can face you guys. I had a camera crew with me yesterday and a group of people from uh, a race car club. So that video is going to be pretty interesting. I sold a Corvette here. May have made money. May have lost money. You'll have to watch that video to find out. That'll be another one. And uh, I bought two cars. So there'll be another video about that as well. Just like jam packed with content. I love being here. This is like doing my dream job. I'm doing it my dream job because of you guys. So thank you for that. Let's read some more comments before I show you the next car that I really wanted to show you. Any cycle? Okay, let me go here. Uh, hey, from North Carolina. Ooh, hello from Hazard, Kentucky. There's a real place. Hazard, is it Hazard County? Hey, Craig from San Diego. Are you getting the new 4Runner? I, I'm not really a Toyota guy. Saludos from Mexico City. Check this out. Ready? Off my face. Not only is this a DMC DeLorean, this is a Back to the Future movie quality replica down to the flux capacitor. Let me look at the crowd around this car. Everybody loves this car. The detail work is amazing on this thing. There's the flux capacitor. I, everybody goes to the flux capacitor. Is it in there? So I did a TikTok and a Instagram reel. If you don't follow us yet, you can follow us on Instagram and TikTok. I'm doing like one-off car, car reels on the uh, social media too. So follow us on TikTok and Instagram. There's your buttons. There's your flux capacitor that everybody wants to see all the way down to right here. This might be one of my most favorite cars at the auction today. Not the most expensive, but definitely one of the most interesting. Hello from New York City. Plymouth Mass in the house. Hello neighbor. That's cool actually from Florida. Let's go down the line and I'm just going to show you everything that the Bear Jackson has to offer just in this tent. Tons and tons of stuff here. All right, 840 CI, and a lot of these have already run through and sold. And what's cool about this is no reserve auction. Let me go back to myself. This is a no reserve auction, so highest bid wins. I was here early, bought a car today. I was here early, bought a car the first day, and uh, unfortunately my car was early too, so it sold for less than I had hoped. I'm not gonna tell you what it sold for or what it was unless I already have. Maybe. Let's check this stuff out because it has prices on them. So this right here is the California Sports Special Roadster, sold for $45,000. Wow. I have a special place in my heart for these Bentley Continental GTs. Not the Flying Spur, I don't like the four-door, I like the two-doors, this isn't a GT. Uh, Continental Flying Spur, sold for $35,000. The coupe and convertibles are so much bang for your buck until you have to repair them. So if you can repair them for yourself, there's a lot of car in that for like the price of a Camry. Now, if you follow along my videos, I love everything 90s. This is a 3000 GT VR4, twin turbo, all wheel drive, manual transmission, sold for $21,000, which is probably realistic in this market. Really cool car, Monte Carlo SS, that's so mint it still has the plastic on the seats. Look at how clean the, <laughs> wow. That is amazing. Fully redone, obviously. Uh, well, not fully, I take that back. This thing's actually pretty rough. Looks like it's spray paint, jeez but the seats are brand new and the exterior is in great shape, but the paint, wow, this is a 10 footer. This is a 10 foot car. The farther away I get, the worse it gets. Uh, I mean, the closer I get, the worse it gets. Look at right there. Wow, from afar, this car looks incredible. Up close, it is not incredible. Jeez, I'm gonna stick my phone in there one more time. Look at the ignition lock cylinder. Look at the dash, the cup holders are all cracked. The vents look like they're spray painted. Oh man, you really have to be careful because look at that right there in the paint. Like if I was bidding, oh, it's pearl white too. So if I was bidding on this from afar, I would have thought that this car was mint. Had I been on the auction block, which I really enjoy doing, I would not, I would know better. So I enjoy going right up to the cars, right up on the stage, bidding on the cars there. Let's read some questions again. Craig, show us some 68 to 70 Mopars. All right, I look for some. Off that SS, that's beautiful. That's still beautiful, it is still beautiful. Hey, Terrence, how you doing, Terrence? Nice to see you. Uh, Terrence kind of thing has a YouTube channel too and uh interesting guy so check him out too he's in the comments hello there nah one of my favorites ready i think i've said that a lot already one of my favorites here we go 96 viper rt10 in white with blue terrible ride cool to have the blue trim accents the dash 
That is not the factory color of the dash. It's actually gray, but it chips and in, in, uh, it chips really badly. So maybe it's maybe this one's that stock color, but majority of them are gray. They chip, so you spray paint them in like a satin black. And then you burn your legs on the side pipes. This is a 96, so the side pipes are they're probably exhaust is probably out the rear. Yeah. So mine has side pipes and they changed it to the rear because everyone was burning their legs. Somebody asked for a Mopar, so here's your Plymouth right here. Let's go to some questions real quick. Blue uh, trim looks nice. Yeah, it does kind of look nice. Are you moving to Florida? Yes, I think I am. Yes, at a buyer's auction this time. Yes, at a buyer's auction this time. Yee! All right, Trans Am, my dad's favorite car. I wish my father was here today. He's in, uh, not available, couldn't come, couldn't make it here. So I'm walking around by myself, yeah. talking to you guys. I look nuts here talking to myself, wandering around. At least I have a phone holding up so people kind of know what I'm doing. Love the portrait mode. Too many live streamers use landscape. I don't know, yeah, actually tell me, do you like, I don't think I can do landscape anymore. I think it has to be in portrait mode. This was another one of my favorites. I like realistic, realistically affordable cars. So this is a Lincoln Blackwood. Really cool pickup truck. Doesn't come supercharged, like some of the Harley F-150s come supercharged. This is a 2002 Lincoln Blackwood pickup, sold for $30,000. One of the coolest features about this truck, it is a real truck, like the Avalanche and the Escalades are a single body. So the bed connects into the body. The Lincoln Blackwood is an F-150. You can see it has its own separate bed, but the doors open up sideways right here, which is really cool. And then it has the hard tonneau cover. And then going to the inside, if it is unlocked. Yeah, look at how mint this thing is. And it had low miles too. Really, really cool. Let's read some more questions. Looking at a 93 Canary Yellow Summer Edition Black with interior. Diego, portrait mode looks good. 57 to 58 Plymouths, I'll look for some. Hello from Jersey, I love my Lincoln. 60 Impala SS's, I'll look for some. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys into the auction shortly. This was actually uh, Shaquille O'Neal's slingshot. So what's funny about this is how tall the roof is. Like they had to put a custom roll bar and then extend the roof so he could fit. And that was pretty interesting, I thought. You know what I'm gonna do too? Watch this, ready? I'm going to shoot a YouTube video while I'm live. So I'm tag teaming right now. I'm live on YouTube and filming YouTube. So essentially, if you're watching either one of these videos, you're watching yourself watch yourself, which is kind of cool, I think. So I already talked about this, but I'm gonna put it on my camera and you guys get to see how it works from behind the scenes. I keep zooming in my face. All right, so there's our camera. Fun fact about this Lincoln on an F-150 platform is the tailgate. So the tailgate opens sideways, two doors, and then you have the tunnel cover. This is Shaquille O'Neal's, what are these things called again? I already forgot. Slingshot, Polaris Slingshot. And the most interesting part of this car, it's sold for $32,000, is how the roof is extended. So they put a custom roll cage in it and then had to extend the roof up here as well, obviously because Shaquille O'Neal is so tall. All right, end of video, let's go back to our live. I'm gonna take you guys inside the auction so you get to see, I can go right up on stage, I have a media pass, like full access to do everything. It's really, really cool. Barrett Jackson has been great to me this week. They really treated me well. Uh, hi from Miami, Haley Diego, hi. Never seen a slingshot with a top. Any early 50s Chevys? Well, let's just walk around because there are some cool things I want to show you. Uh, get off my face again. Ooh. Power wagon right there. That is incredibly clean. A mega cab power wagon with a Cummins diesel. Then we get to this 392 Hemi Gladiator. This, whatever you call these things. This was one of the things I found most interesting. How do they get it here? What is it going to sell for? What are you going to do with it when you're done with it? All right, another Bentley Continental GT. That for uh, those two Lamborghinis should be going through pretty soon. I'm going to bring you up that way now. Ooh, a Pantera that has a uh, 351 Cleveland in it, I believe. Oh, okay. While I'm here, I want to show you these vans. If you know me, then you know I'm a sucker for a high top van. These things are the ultimate in high top vans. Watch this. Ready? Turn off my face for a second. All right, check this out. So here we go right here, reclining seats. You know, you got like your tray tables and then just tons and tons of legroom, right? Then that's the base level that goes over here to your second level of trim with your upgraded interior. Check that out right there. Fully reclining seats, you have your tray tables, 
you have your flat screen TV and then folding for rear facing seats on both sides and an espresso maker right there. Going to this side, we get the ultimate in luxury and class that's over a quarter of a million dollars. This right here, this bad boy has your two, four, uh, your two rear facing seats. That's not only a television, it's a forward camera so you get to see what the driver sees. You do have your coffee maker, your tray tables, your cup holders, middle row captain's chairs with tray tables, and then a full rear with starlight ceiling. This thing is really, really neat. All right, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go to the auction block now. I'll answer some questions. Hi from Miami, Italy, Diego, hi. Never seen a slingshot with a top. Oh, I'm way behind. Did uh, leg, did the leopard tank get? I, I don't think it's run through and I'm guessing that they're not going to actually run it through. Thing's gigantic and I feel like it's so heavy it would break the stage. Let's see, when I hit the lottery, I'm buying that, nice. Do they have a burnout pit at the Barrett Jackson? So they don't have a burnout pit. They have a, uh, a Dodge like test track and they have a Ford Mustang uh, dark horse test track so you can go for rides and the challengers and charger hellcats we're doing burnouts yesterday with drivers in the car check this stuff out this right here sold yesterday for oh wait no this is a testarossa i'm sorry this hasn't run it runs through today 89 testarossa we have our rolls royce phantom a grand national or gnx what is this one gnx Buick. oh i'm sorry excuse me all right let's go to the staging lane and then we'll go get in the auction block I'm gonna answer some more questions while we walk, although it's so sunny and hot here. All right, beautiful. What are you selling? Ah, you'll have to watch a different video for that one. Um, I buy cars from Copart, but that look better. Where is this at? This is in West Palm Beach, Florida. Good morning, Craig. Hi, hello from Netherlands. I love that there are people all over the world that watch this stuff. It's like so flattering. Thank you for that. Uh, nice to be with you all on this wonderful day. It is hot as what I would imagine hell is here. Uh, ever accidentally said Jarrett Baxson by mistake? I will now that you said that. Thank you. Maybe today will be. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that now that I'm thinking about it. When I hit the lottery, I'm buying that. How did the Leopard tank get? Oh, we already went through those. The Ram SRT 10 trucks and the Ford Lightnings are some of my favorites, and they're going up in value. I'm in the staging lane now, so let's get off my face, and I'll show you what's running through. So... We're gonna go right down here. This place is packed today. It's not only a car auction, it's a car show. A lot of these people are just spectators here to um, just view and see what it's like. The Lam excuse me, I have the hiccups now. The Lamborghinis, man, I can really talk. I have been going for 18 minutes just talking. Let me get off the face, my face, and show you what's going on here. Porsche 17, 18 Boxster Spider. 69 Trans Am, I showed you these, the California. Here's what's cool about having this all access pass. Uh, as soon as I get around these guys real quick. Excuse me guys, sorry. California right there. Ford Fairlane right there, Fairlane GT. Old Corvette, that was my thumbnail to this video. These cars are gonna all start running through soon. A Chevelle SS 450 470, Chevelle SS. Is it a 70? No, this is the 72. You can tell by the circular headlights, 71 and 72. 70 had the two headlights. The Bronco's going through. Another Bronco, uh, I'm sorry, Blazer's going through right there. That's a Chevelle SS 396 right there. I'm gonna answer a couple questions before I go in. Ever accidentally, nope, we already said that stuff. Where are you, brother? And where, I wish they were both here. My father had some stuff and my brother had some stuff. I wish they were here with me. Hello from Maine, you going to LS Fest? No. I wanna go back to Porter. I've been to Port, Porto. That's why you're an awesome YouTuber. Terrence, again, coming in. I love that, thank you, man. Hell, hell is definitely hot, my brother, but Jesus saves us from from it through the sacrifice he made on Calvary. God bless you, my brother, and those are some gorgeous cars. Let's go up on the stage real quick. Take my sunglasses off. Look at how packed this place is. The 328 GTS right here. I'm actually going to get off the stage so you can see the cars run through. So let's climb down right now. Bitters right there. Bitters right there. Bitters right there. 
Steve House, how about it? How you gonna do it? Come on, how you gonna do it? Sit front row and watch an auction real quick. $89,000 for Bentley Continental GT. Love all your content. Yay, Jared Baxton says Benjamin Buffin. Cool. NEC 6 Corvette's plenty. Who got Android in the video? Eighty nine, ninety seven, 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 they just started trying to get a 200. Now they're trying for 100. Now they're at 30. 30 for a Ferrari. Now it's at 60,000. They're at 70,000. Corvette or Viper, which is your favorite? Corvette's realistic. You can drive them every day. Viper, not so much, but Vipers are still my favorite. Are you going to buy anything? I've actually already bought two cars here, and I sold one. Those will be separate videos. I just wanted to go live today to really give you a behind the scenes and show you what it's like. I'm going to go turn my camera on again and shoot another YouTube video while here. Say hello to yourselves. You're on camera, on YouTube, on YouTube. So we are shooting a live stream while watching a 1987 Ferrari. 328 GTS Targa go through at $72,000 right now. We have been up on stage. It is an absolute blast here, and this place is packed. Look at how many people are here. A lot of money in house here today. Nice. I love that 70 Chevelle. You're doing a great job between info and the cars. Leave the comments. Thank you, Benjamin Buffett. Really enjoy the videos. 74000 on that GTS Targa 75. Bidders are still climbing on this. Really interesting. All right, it's at 80 now. Where are the bidders? You can see the bidder in the front row, and the auctioneers are all over the place looking for bidders, and you'll hear them scream or blow a whistle when there is a real bid. Sold for $78,000. That is really, really neat. The Camaro sounds amazing. I'm going to shut off this video and keep going live for a few more minutes, read some comments. Really enjoy your videos, Craig. Seriously, you're freaking amazing, bro. Thanks, man. I'm getting very flattered over here. I love it. Thank you. Let's get out of here. So I love the 70 Chevelle. Craig, seriously, Terrence, I'm glad I'm gonna thank you for that. Uh, we'll walk this way now, right across the lane, and then over to the other side, and then I'm gonna go get some drinks, because I have been talking for way too long today. We have some bitters. There are some real bitters right now. Look at how busy this place is. All right, I'm going to read some questions and comments and then move on from here. Guys, thank you for what you do, getting ready to start a used car dealership. And hope I get to meet you. Oh, so many words. Sorry, well, I've got an inspirational so much. Thanks for the time. Thank you for that. Thanks for the inside view, Craig. Super cool. I had a 72 Chevy El Camino, 396, 402. Guys, I love your uh, actually comment. You saying things. Thank you for joining me at the Barrett Jackson auction. I'm going to have a video on something that I bought something else that I bought, and then also something that I sold coming up. I had a camera crew with me yesterday that was really an experience, and that's probably, that'll probably be our best video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And just a thumbs up is really appreciated. It helps me in the videos. Thank you. We'll see you all later. Now I have to figure out how to end this video, so bear with me, please. Oh, jeez. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's still going. I don't know how to shut this video off.